everyone and welcome. I am Miss Jamie, one of the program facilitator at Malvern Family Resource Center. Let's start off with our welcome song to welcome everyone. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Welcome and let's start program now. Hi everyone, it's Miss Jamie here again. So nice to be seeing you. Well, boys and girls, did you see the weather outside? It's snowy, lots of snow everywhere. Yes, that's right. We are in winter right now. That's our current season. So that's why we see snow everywhere and it's really cold outside. Frank, did you go outside? It's really cold, right? You can feel it on your face. You can feel it on your hands. You can feel it everywhere. It's really cold. So make sure we dress warmly. And today, boys and girls, Miss Jamie has a fun story to tell you. Well, since we have so much snow outside, might as well enjoy it, right? Well, do you know what you can do with snow? How you can play with snow. Well, boys and girls, today in our story, hopefully you will get some inspiration because the boys and girls and the friends in the story today, they had lots of fun playing with snow. Well, hopefully after reading this book, you will get an idea and you can also have fun with the snow. So this is our story for today. This is called Snowball Moon by Frank Cannon Slayton uh, and illustrated by Tracy Bishop. Uh, boys and girls, let's look at the moon. What do you think? Does it look like a snowball to you? It sure looks like a snowball to Miss Jamie. It's white and it's round. Wow, it looks really beautiful. And it kind of blends in, right, with the skies and with um, the snow here. It looks very pretty. Well, let's find out what this book is all about. Snowy night, firelight, cozy flame, friendly games. <laughs> so uh, it seems like we have daddy mommy here and they are playing games together. Wow. Oh, look at this fireplace. It warms the whole room up. And mommy has a blanket to cover herself too. Yep, we need to keep warm. Lights go out, a scream, a shout. <gasps> Every eye on the sky. Yep. So suddenly when the lights go out, maybe there's a power outage and all of a sudden, yep, the moon seems really bright. Well, boys and girls, have you tried this before? Uh, when you turn off the lights or maybe when the power goes out too, there wouldn't be any street lights and everything. It's um, really, really dark. And the moon up in the sky and the stars, they would seem especially bright. Snowball moon, bright as noon, mittens, boots, warm snow suits. <laughs> While they're starting to put on their winter gear and their jackets and their suits, what do you think they're doing? How come they're putting these things on? Oh, because they are going out to play. Grab the sled from the shed. Race outside for a ride. <laughs> Yay, let's go outside. Wow, look at all these fun they are having. I would love to play in the snow too. Oh, and by the way, there are more friends coming out. So maybe other people, they see that there is a power outage, so they're also coming out to play in the snow. Down the hill, ooh, winter thrill. Frozen lake, where's the break? Oh wow, they are going fast. 
very fun sledding. Slide and slip, double flip, upside down, spinning around. Wow, spinning, spinning. Everyone is having fun. They seem to enjoy it. Oh, here they are coming. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They're going spinning, spinning, and oopsies. <laughs> they fell out. Get up, sport. Build a fort. Here they are, building a fort together. Well, have you tried building a fort before? It's really fun. You can put snowballs together, and it's kind of like a mini wall. Snowball fight! What a night! Oh wow, so that's what the fort is for. It's for uh, protecting you so you can hide under or behind the fort. And then you can suddenly get up and try to aim for your friends and throw the snowball at them. Well, boys and girls, this is really fun. But remember, uh, be careful when we're throwing snowballs. Do not aim anything above the shoulders. Aim below the shoulders because you don't want to hit your friends on the head. It could really hurt them and injure them. Because you might think, oh, snow, it's okay. It's really puffy. But when you're grabbing some snow uh, from the ground, who knows? Maybe there is some ice inside and you didn't notice it. And when that ice hit your friend, it could really hurt them. So be careful, aim below the shoulders. And oh look, who do we have over here? It's a little squirrel. <laughs> oh wow, he wants to join the fight too. Frosty fun, nearly done. One more ride, warm inside. <laughs> yep, so one last ride and now they're going inside. Rosy nose, icy toes, <laughs> yes. Um, so our far extremes of our bodies, like our fingers and our toes, they are away from our body. And so they get cold the fastest. Well, have you uh, been outside before, boys and girls? And have you ever felt like your toes are just really cold and numb? It's because it's really far away from your heart and from your body. So it's hard for the blood to flow uh, all the way uh, to your toes and it's hard for your body to warm it up. So that's why you need to make sure you warm your fingers um, and warm your toes. Now, goodbye snow, hot cocoa, mm, hot chocolate, super yummy. Miss Jamie loves drinking hot chocolate on a cold, snowy day. Droopy eyes. Snowflake skies, counting sheep, fall asleep. Shh, it's time to sleep. Sleepy heads, dreams of sleds. Come back soon, snowball moon. Yep, so boys and girls, this is the end of our story. It surely does look like a snowball, right? Yep, so hopefully we will get to see the snowball moon too. Maybe tonight when you look outside your window, see if you can find a snowball moon. Well, no worries. I'm sure if you look outside every night, one day you will be able to see the snowball moon. Wow, reading that story was so much fun. Did you like that story? What did you like to do most? Was it warming up by the fire? Or was it playing games with your family? Or could it be sliding and sledding outside? Or maybe building a snowman? Well, boys and girls, reading that story makes Miss Jamie wants to play in the snow so much. Uh, today, we are going to be uh, doing a craft together and we can make our very own snowman and you can decorate it too. It's very simple. All you'll need is some paper. Today, Miss Jamie chose a piece of white paper for the white snow and then some blue paper over here for the background and of course you can choose any color for your background up to you uh, and then we have a pen here for drawing uh, i have scissors for cutting out the pieces and then some liquid glue for putting the pieces together 
and then I have some markers for decorating. So I was thinking about it. I think I wanted some black markers, right, for the eyes, for the eyes, and maybe some buttons for my snowman. And then we need orange for the nose. Yes, the carrot nose. And lastly, we are going to use brown for the arms. Yes, arms of our snowman. I usually, when we make a snowman, we'll find some stick and some branches, stick it into the snowball of the body of the snowman to make the arms. Well, have you tried making a snowman before? Like a real snowman? <laughs> well, if no, then it's okay. You can try making one or you can make this craft with us and have some fun with your own snowman too. Well, boys and girls, do you have the materials ready? If no, that's okay. Learn it from Miss Jamie and you can make it whenever you like. Or you can simply just take out a pen and draw some snowman and his friends out on a piece of paper too. Yep, that will also work. Boys and girls, you ready for a craft? So boys and girls, we are going to start off with this piece of white paper. Uh, if you can find something that is a circle, maybe like this, you can place it onto the piece of paper and you can trace it out. If not, you can also try to draw a circle with your pen. Yep, that will also work. So let me try tracing this out. Remember to hold on to the top and it's going to help you draw uh, the circle out once your container or cup is steady. Here is our first circle, ta-da! One snowball. And by the way, this also kind of looks like the moon, right? The snowball moon. I'm gonna add a second snowball. Uh, and depending on how tall you want your snowman to be, you can choose to have two snowballs, three snowballs, or even 10 snowballs. If you have 10 snowballs, then your snowman will be super, super tall. I'm going to draw three circles out and see if that's good. We are gonna decide later. Just going to have three ready for us and then see if we want two or we want three. Yep, so here are my three circles. Very perfect, right? <laughs> yep, so it's, I think I find it much easier to draw circles if you have something to trace it out with. And then here are my scissors. I'm going to carefully cut out the three circles. So uh, boys and girls, if you choose to cut the circles out by yourself, be careful, don't cut your fingers. Here is our first circle. And by the way, if you look closely, you might be able to see some uh, pencil mark or pen mark here. Uh, if you would like to, then you can use this as the back. Usually I like to use this part as the back. So on the other side, we don't see any pencil mark. Okay, here comes the second circle. Ta -da! Here's the second one. Let's place it here. I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna use it in a little bit. And parents, if you want uh, your children to get some practice, you can ask them to try cutting out the circles. But cutting out circles is, uh, is actually harder than cutting out straight lines because they need to coordinate uh, the two hands and they need to keep turning to make sure they round the edges. So boys and girls, uh, if you need help from a parent, that's okay. It's okay, yep. So here are the three circles that I have. Uh, now we need the background. Here is my piece of blue paper. I find this to be too big. We don't need it to be this big. So I'm going to fold this in half. And so we can save the other half uh, for more craft next time. Now let's fold this in half. And once we open it back up, do you see the line in the middle? Yep, there's a line running in the middle. So I'm going to take my scissors and then I'm going to uh, cut this line, yes. So maybe uh, parents, you can ask your children to do this part of cutting if they didn't do the circle cutting. Uh, you can hold on to it like this for them uh, and then just ask them to do the cutting here. 
Yeah, because this is actually a big piece of paper. It might be a little hard for the little hands uh, to control this piece of paper. So you can hold on to it for them and just ask them to uh, simply hold on to this part with the other hand. And so uh, the dominant hand can do the cutting. Uh, the piece of paper cut into two now. I'm gonna put one piece away. Now that leaves us with just half of the paper. Here are our snowballs. So I'm just gonna test it out. Let's see how we should put it out. Like this. Well, we actually have lots of space. So I'm going to choose three. I'm going to use three snowballs. Ta-da! So this is what our snowman looks like. What we're gonna do next is to take out our glue we're going to start gluing. So once again, the shimmy likes to add glue to the back, uh, which has the pencils marked on it. Today, the shimmy has some liquid glue. I'm going to take the glue out. I'm going to spread it out onto the back. Try your best to spread it out all the way to the edges. And then, see, some glue over here, right? Then we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna place this on the bottom. Let's push it down. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now here comes the second one. So once again, I'm gonna take some glue. Oopsies, not too much glue. Yep, you don't need too much. Just a little bit goes a long way. And, um, if you want to, you don't need to add glue uh, in the middle. You just need to make sure you have glue on the edges. Okay, here we go. Some glue over here, right? So let's flip this around and we're going to place this on top. Just like this. Another five seconds. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Okay, now. Here comes the last one. So not too much glue. Just a little bit of glue like this. And I'm going to spread it out onto the edges of my last snowball. There we go. Ta-da, some glue here. Flip this around. And we're going to place this last one on top. Another five seconds, okay? One. Two, three, four, five. Nicely done. Okay. Now here is our snowman. Three of them, right? One, two, three. Three snowballs. I am going to use my markers to do the decorating. Starting off with my black marker for some eyes. Uh, what kind of eyes do you want for your snowman? I want my snowman to have big eyes. Big round eyes. There we go. Hello. You see them? Big round eyes for my snowman. It doesn't look complete right now because we only have the eyes. Let's add some buttons on. Let's add some buttons for my snowman. This. You see it? And then we need a carrot nose. Here is the orange marker. I'm going to draw a triangle, just like a carrot. Yes. Ta-da! Carrot nose. Yes. And then, oh, we need brown. Do you remember what we are going to use brown for? Brown for the stakes, yes. The arms that stakes out. Let's draw arms out like this. And then I'm gonna draw some branches sticking out too. So they look like fingers and hands for my oops, let's close the lid. Uh, for my snowman. Ta-da! Oh, I think something it's missing for my snowman. What do you think? Well, my snowman it's missing a big smile. Yes! So I'm going to take my black marker again, and I'm going to add some dots here. You are um, 
well, when you're making your real snowman, maybe you can find some uh, little small pebbles or buttons and you can add them on your snowman for a smile. Hello, hello. Very nice, right? Oh, and by the way, if you want to, you can also add a hat on, you can add a scarf on, or maybe some knittings for the arms too, uh, for the hands too. What are you going to add for your snowman? Uh, maybe oh, snowball moon in the background, maybe some stars, maybe a tree in the background too. Oh, maybe even some snow on the bottom. Uh, boys and girls, if you have some cotton balls, you can take them and you can stick them on the bottom like this on the ground for the snowman. So ta-da, here is the basics of our snowman. Feel free to add more to it and feel free to tell Miss Jamie what you did for your snowman. Boys and girls, did you like the craft we made today? I love the snowman, it's really cute. And you can add so many different things to it to make it personal. Yep, make your own snowman yours. Oh, hi there. Did you say something? Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, sure, sure. I will tell that to our boys and girls and let's see if they want to join us. My snowman over here is telling me that he wants to sing a song with us. You have a new song to teach us, right? Yes. Boys and girls, would you like to learn this song with us? Ooh, wow, the song seems really good. Thank you for teaching me this new song. I will be sure to teach it to our friends over here. Now, boys and girls, we are going to pretend that we are little snowmans. Are you ready? Here comes the song. I'm a little snowman, short and round. Made from snowflakes, fell to the ground. I have two eyes and a carrot nose. I'm the happiest snowman I know. Nice job. Not too hard, right? Well, boys and girls, let's practice our song one more time then. We are going to pretend that we are little snowmen. <laughs> I'm a little snowman, short and round. Made from snowflakes, fell to the ground. I have two eyes and a carrot's nose. I'm the happiest snowman I know. That's right. Very good job, friends. Yup, so uh, the snowman, it's made from snowflakes that fell to the ground. Well, boys and girls, do you know where the snowflakes are going to go next? We are going to be singing our snowflake song together. So can you show Miss Jamie your hands? We are going to pretend them to be snowflakes slowly falling and falling down from the sky. Here they come. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, little snowflake falling from the sky. Snowflake, snowflake, Little snowflake, little snowflake, falling, 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 falling on my head. Head over here. Good job, you found your head. I wonder where the snowflakes are going to go next. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, Little snowflake falling from the sky. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, little snowflake falling, 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 falling on my shoulders. Can you touch your shoulders? Yep, shoulders over here. That's right. Good job. Let's keep uh, seeing the snowflakes come down. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, little snowflake falling from the sky. Snowflake, snowflake, little snowflake, little snowflake 
falling, 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 falling on my nose. Nose over here. Good job. Thank you everyone for singing with us today. I had so much fun. Boys and girls, did you enjoy our program today? Because I had so much fun. So hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I had so much fun making our snowman over here too. Hi there, friend. <laughs> did you like today's program? Yes, you did. Oh, and by the way, thank you for sharing your song with us. We learned your song and it was so much fun. I love singing it. Well, boys and girls, hope you had fun with your snowman too. Uh, and of course, you can play outside and have fun outside in the snow. Just remember to put on your winter gear and make sure you are warm. Yep. So until next time, bye for now, friends. It's time to say goodbye. So let's take out our microphone and sing a bye-bye song together. Bye 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 Thank you for joining us today. I had so much fun with you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.